Okay, so today we're going to talk about related rates. Uh, here we have a ladder problem. This says, a ladder 25 feet long is leaning against the wall of a house. The base of the ladder is being pulled away at a rate of 2 feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder moving down the wall when the base is 24 feet from the wall? So here you can see this nice little diagram that I quickly sketched out. So the first step that I like to do when I'm uh, given a related race problem is I like to take all these little tidbits of information that I'm given and I like to put them in a diagram so I can figure out what I'm solving for and yeah, just what I'm trying to solve for. So a ladder, this is 20 feet long ladder. So this side length is going to be 25 feet. Now we're also told that the base of the ladder is being pulled away at the rate of 2 feet per second. So if this is the base of the ladder, it's moving this way. It's being pulled away from the wall. So 2 feet per second. If this uh, ladder was being pushed against the wall this way, it would be negative 2 feet per second. We know that rates are negative when you're going back to, I suppose you could call this the point of origin, when, you, when you're pushing back this way, right? But here, the ladder is being pulled away, going this way, so we, it's positive. Okay. We also know that the, the ladder base is 24 feet from the wall. So if this is the base of the ladder, and this is the wall, this side length here is 24 feet feet. And now you'll notice here that since this is a right triangle, you can just use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this side length, because we only want one variable in the end. We only want one thing we can solve for. I have a video explaining the Pythagorean theorem. I'll link it here somewhere. You can check it out if you want. So basically, our Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared where our c is always our hypotenuse, our longest side. So we can rewrite this so that we're solving for this side length, which we'll call b. So c squared minus a squared equals b squared. We know c squared, our hypotenuse is 25. 25 squared minus a is going to be this side length, 24 squared equals b squared. Now, if I just plug that into my calculator. I end up getting 49. So b squared is 49. So we can say that b is 7 feet. So let's label that here. Let me just erase this because I'm going to be writing a couple more stuff and run out of space soon. So now let's look at what we're trying to solve for. It says how fast is the top of the ladder, this is the top of the ladder up here, moving down the wall so we're trying to find this rate, and we know that this rate is going to be negative because it's moving back to that place of origin, that original spot. So let's we'll call this dB over dt, our rate that the, that the ladder is moving down. Now we've solved for the rate here, or we, we were given the rate here, and we know all the side length, but we don't know this rate. So I know that this rate is 0 feet per second. How do I know that? I know that because this ladder is not changing sizes. If it were getting longer, it would have a positive um, rate. If it was getting shorter, it would have a negative rate. But this ladder, it's not changing how long it is. It's just sliding down a wall. So our rate is 0 feet per second. I'm already starting to run out of room. Oh boy. Alright, so the way to solve for this rate is we take the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we take the derivative of it. Before you plug in anything, you have to take the derivative, because that's going to give us um, dA over dt, dB over dt, and dc over dt, which are rates, which is what we're solving for here. So 2a dA over dt, and you have to um, derive this with respect to dt, plus 2b dB dt, equals 2c dc dt. So now that you've derived it, you can plug in all these numbers that we figured out or were given. So 2 times, let's call this side length a, 2 times 24 times 2 plus 2 times b, 7, times, we don't know what db dt is, we're solving for it, so let's just leave it as db dt, 
equals 2 times C, our hypotenuse, 25, times the rate, our rate is 0, so really this entire half just turns, just turns to 0. So ratio is not very good. Alright, so now that we have all of this, we're just going to solve for db dt. So let me just plug in these numbers. We end up getting 96 plus 2 times 7 dv dt equals 0. I'll subtract 96 to the other side, so I get multiply 2 times 7 to get 14. 14 dv dt equals negative 96. And now I can just divide negative 96 by 14 to get that our rate is negative 48 divided by 7 feet per second. Right? So now we've seen that our rate is negative because it's moving back to the point of origin. So that's kind of a way to double check your answer to make sure you didn't, you didn't make a mistake here somewhere. And I should also point out that since this is a rate, you have to include the um, proper units for a rate, so feet per second. Because it's presented to us here as feet per second, we can mimic that feet per second. And that's how you solve a related rates problem 